So let's just settle into our meditation. It's here. Okay. Mary, can I share my image? Yeah, okay. There she is. So you can just use that as reference. Um, but I'll get to that in a minute. Meanwhile, just feet are flat on the floor, about a hips width apart. And just be sitting right on top of your sits bones, shoulders aligned with the hips, and just lengthen your spine. Imagine the spine is a string of pearls of light, and you're stretching from the base all the way up through the crown of the head and beyond. And just to even that tiny little bit, we're not even doing any, we're not doing any exercise or particular stretching, but just imagine lengthening. You may have noticed you've got a little bit taller. So just expanding, lengthening. And breathe, take a nice deep breath and relax. And then get well, as you get to the crown of the head, just release any tension at the crown and relax the face. Relax the part of the back of the head. Allow the shoulders and the shoulder blades to drop down. Relax the throat, the chest, the belly. And all of your limbs. And then bring the mind to the breath. Just notice the air as it flows in and out of the nostrils, the sensations. And then just be aware of sounds in your environment. Just allow those sounds to be there. Just try not to go there with your mind to check out what might be going on. And it's so subtle, that departure. You just have to very gently bring your mind back. And then just check the thoughts that are arising right now. Just know that however it is you're turning up this morning, it's totally fine. I always find it so curious here because we are very, according to the garden, we are very obviously moving into uh, the next season, which is autumn, but it's still hot. So I don't know how it is in your part of the country, but it's starting to feel like uh, the beginning of a time of transition and change. So maybe there's some transition and change going on in your life right now, which you can always remain stable within that transition. Keep breathing. And check the thoughts. You might want to um, give them a label. Remembering. Planning. And it just enables you to have a little bit of space, a tiny bit of space between you and the thoughts and the stories. Some of the stories are just that. Just a little bit unrelated to actuality. Mm. 
And then we can just put ourselves on the bank of the river and just watch that river flow on by. And just know that while you're <clears throat> sitting on the bank, you're free from the river. So bring to mind all those people of your life, you know, your loved ones, the ones who are difficult for you and your strangers. Just know that they can change place at any time, these relationships. So treasure the ones you have those folks who are, um, how do I say, maybe valuable to you, precious to you. The trick is, though, to feel that same way for all sentient beings. It's a bit of a tall order. But we can't really move on to this bodhicitta practice until we have started to develop an idea at least about equanimity. So all these people are equal in their wish to be happy and their wish to be free from suffering and in having this potential for enlightenment. So imagine now Tara in the space in front of you. Our Tara here has is made of metal, it's a statue. This just gives you an idea of how she looks. But this Tara is actually made of light. And imagine a radiant green light body, almost like a hologram projected in front of you, about six, six to eight feet away. And she's sitting on a multicolored lotus. Her left foot is drawn in. Uh, just as when we are meditating, and her right foot is out resting on its own, its own little multicolored lotus. And her left foot drawn in indicates her complete and effortless control over her desire energy. And her right foot out indicates her willingness and capacity to get up and act for sentient beings. And often she's referred to as the wish fulfilling Buddha. And she represents this quick capacity. Uh, in this case, female, to cut through the obstacles to get things done and to be successful and, of course, to make us all blissful. So imagine Tara youthful and radiant and full of energy and full of bliss, and she's wearing these beautiful silken garments and jewellery on her. She has a five-pointed crown on her head, and she's wearing jewellery on on her ears, around her neck, around her waist, and her wrists and fingers, ankles, toes. So you can imagine this jewelry catching the light. And imagine also this is the manifestation of your teacher if you have one. Appearing as green Tara for your benefit to the Buddha the Dharma and the Sangha. I go for refuge until I'm enlightened by this practice of meditating on Guru Tara. May I reach Buddhahood so as to benefit all sentient beings. So we'll do one chakra at a time. Imagine powerful, blissful light coming first of all from the Om at Tara's brow chakra. So this is blissful white light. This enters your brow and completely fills you. And imagine that all the problems and sufferings and heaviness of your body are purified by this light. And all the harm you've ever done to any living being with this body and all infinite past bodies is also purified. It's eradicated completely. There's not one atom left. As we recite the mantra. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Sol Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Sol Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Sol 
Om tare tu tare tu re soham. 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 Now imagine that light is coming again and this time your body has become a blissful light body just like Tara's, indestructible, just like it will be when you attain the deity's body, the Sambhavakaya. And imagine it's not possible to ever harm others with this body, only to benefit. Om tare tu tare tu re soham. 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 Now imagine Tara sending red light from the A ah at her throat chakra to your throat, and this purifies all the problems of speech, inappropriate speech, useless speech, uncontrolled speech, angry speech, criticism, 
and the inability to express ourselves appropriately and all the harm you have ever done to any living being with the speech of this life and infinite past lives, imagine it's all totally purified, eradicated by this blissful red light, not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 And imagine the light is coming again, and this time you're full of this blissful, perfect, compassionate wisdom and appropriate speech of Lama Tara, such that whatever sound you utter is necessarily beneficial to any living being who hears it. All of this is your potential, and feel full of this powerful speech energy. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 And now imagine this time Lama Tara sending powerful beams of blue light, blue like the sky, <clears throat> excuse me, from the blue hum at her heart chakra. And this enters your heart. And imagine that all the unhappiness of mind, confusion, doubt, 
arrogance, anger, jealousy, pride, resentment, hurt, anxiety. No, not liking ourselves is totally purified. And all the delusions, including the root delusion, ego grasping, <clears throat> which is the cause of all of our own suffering and of why we harm others, is totally eradicated by the powerful blue light, not one atom left. Om tare tu tare tu re 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 Now imagine the blue light coming again and this time feel full of the blissful, omniscient, compassionate mind of Lama Tara. And this <clears throat> is your potential. Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re 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 And now imagine the three lights coming from Lama Tara's three chakras simultaneously and they penetrate your three places. And this time feel that even the subtlest stains of all delusion are completely eradicated. There's not one atom left. And feel really blissful as you recite the mantra. Om tare tu tare tu re soham Om tare tu tare tu re soham 
Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 We'll just stay here for a moment and feel that you're one with the energy of Mother Tara. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now imagine Lama Tara's lotus dissolving upwards into her body and she comes to sit above the crown of your head facing the same way as you, about a couple of inches above. So imagine you have this light body, Tara, the mind of your teacher, and then she has a strong wish to become one with your mind and she dissolves into green light and melts into you through the crown and merges with your body, your speech, and your mind. And just think, I am one with Lama Tara's holy body, speech, and mind, and feel blissful. And think that now that I am Tara, I must lead everyone to enlightenment. All those beings, the friends, the enemies, the strangers. And imagine in front are your enemies, eyeball to eyeball. And in front to the left, your friends and to the right and everywhere else, all the rest of sentient beings, the strangers. And think they're all the same. They all want happiness. They don't want suffering and they all possess this Buddha nature. Now imagine from your heart, millions and millions of tiny green Taras emanate out, and they enter the friends, the enemies, and the strangers, and they take away all their suffering and give them everything they need, transforming them into their own Tara. And imagine this, really want this, as we recite the mantra again. Om tare tu tare tu re soha. 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 And imagine all these transformed Taras absorb into you and enhance your own Tara nature.
So let's just dedicate all the merit, all the positive energy we've created doing this meditation to all <laughs> sentient beings. That is so sweet, Mary. Thank you so much. <laughs> Guys, I'm crazy. Okay. Have a wonderful day. Oh, 